Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidbin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest Piper for Android on Pixel 6 and 7 series running the latest Android 13 build. The steps are also valid across any Android phone, but for this video, our focus will be on the Pixel 6 and 7 series because these are the two phones which were having quite a lot of issues with the Piper for Android. So with that in mind, please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you have to root your phone via Magisk. For Pixel 6a, 6 and 6 Pro, they could root via the Magic Patch Boot Image file. For Pixel 7 and 7 series, they could root them via the Magic Patch Init Boot file. For any device which came out of the box with Android 13, they have to use the Init Boot file. Whereas for all the other Android phone which came with Android 12 or any older version of Android, they simply need to patch via the, the boot file and then they could root. I have listed both this guide, you could refer to my guide and they root your phone. Once you have done the route, let me show you. I am running the Pixel 6a and my phone is currently rooted via Magisk. So once you have done the route, you will now have to install the Viper for Android RE module zip and apk file. It's both are the open source and you could keep a track of them from the GitHub page. So let me show you that as well. Simply open this link from here and you will take it to the GitHub page from here. It's the latest build and expand the asset section and you have to download both the zip and apk file. I have already downloaded both this file, so let me show you it's onto my phone. The APK file will be installed as a normal APK, whereas the zip will be flashed via the Magisk. So first off, let's flash the zip file. So launch the Magisk app onto your phone, then go to the module section and tap on install from storage. Now select the zip file. So let me do so once in just a minute. Sort by modified newest. So select the Mag Viper for Android Magisk zip file and hit enter and it will now flash the file. Once that is done, do not reboot your phone, rather go back and you now have to install the apk file. So let's now install the Viper for Android apk file as well and type on install. It should only take a few seconds for the app to be installed. So let's wait for the time frame. The app is now installed. You will not have to launch the app now. Rather, let's now restart our phone. So long press the power button and hit restart. So first of you have to flash the Viper for Android Magisk module via Magisk. Then you have to install the Viper for Android app and then you have to do a restart. Upon restart, we just have to carry out a few additional tweaks and after that, the task stands complete. So let's wait for the time frame while the phone is not booting up, which will only take a few seconds. So let's wait for that. And once the entire process has been done, you will then be able to use Viper for under on your phone without any issues. All these are required just for the initial one time setup from subsequent time, you will not need to carry out these steps. Anyways, now that we are done, so let's now launch the Viper for Android app. So let me show you the app icon as well. So this is the Viper for Android. Let me bring to the home screen. So you may now launch the Viper for Android. And first off, it's asked for to allow the app run in the background. It's recommended to type on allow. Then it's asking for the notification. It's completely optional. Now first off, you have to enable master limiter. Enable the toggle next to it. Then tap on the settings icon at the top right. And now you have to enable legacy mode. Once that is done. You now have to play any song of your choice from any app. So I'm playing a song from the YouTube Music app. You could play any song of your choice from any app and the song is now playing. So now that the song is playing, you should once again launch the Viper for Android app. And now you could tap on the driver page and as you could see, the drivers are installed and audio firmware is supported and it's enabled as well. And you could now carry out the de desired tweak as you want. So guys, this was all from this video on how you could install Viper for Android on the Pixel 6 and 7 series or in fact any Android phone running the latest Android 13 build. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.